What is up, everybody? It is Gristle. Time, finally, for the Rogue One Star Wars Story official trailer. It's getting ready to come out. I'm getting ready to react to it. Just a little background on me. I'm a huge Star Wars fan. If you don't believe me, go check out my little cry I had at Han Solo in the Force Awakens trailer. So, I'm really excited to see what they do with these anthology movies. Enough talking. Let's get into it. Let's go. Here we go. Oh, my Mothma. Oh, snap. I rebel. I rebel. Oh, shit. Holy shit. Oh, Oh, damn. Oh, shit. Holy fucking shit. <laughs> Holy crap. All right, I went back and checked out the trailer multiple times, got some notes to talk about, so we're going to get into this review right now. <laughs> I don't know where that came from. Starts out with seeing Jin, and um, they're pulling her in for all these different crimes she committed. It looks like they're going to use uh, this little ragtag group of maybe criminals to go do this. Um, that's kind of what it sounds like from what I've heard in the past about what this story is about. But uh, it's cool to see that in the beginning for people who don't know that. And right away you get to see Mon Mothma, a younger version of Mon Mothma, confronting Jin or uh, talking to Jin about this new mission. And it looks like Mon Mothma is pretty amused or she likes the fact that Jin is strong and cocky when uh, Jin says, I'm a rebel, I rebel. Because you see uh, Mon Mothma give a little smirk there. And that quick little fight scene you see with Jin and the stormtroopers is pretty epic, even though it's like really short. Um, there's a lot of, I don't, I don't know, I don't know if it's the music, I don't know if it's what. I watched it multiple times and I got chills seeing it happen. Uh, just seeing her beat down those stormtroopers was pretty fucking cool. Now, there was two really epic scenes in this trailer. The first one, the fucking Death Star being built and uh, just seeing... It being put together and seeing the the uh, whatever it is that domeish or introverted dome going in where the the laser comes out was freaking so cool. Gave me chills. I seen the ship. You know, I know there's stories of Vader being in this movie, uh, even if it's just for a short amount. Just seeing the uh, Star Cruiser there, I was thinking, was Vader on that ship watching, overseeing the Death Star being built? I don't know, but just seeing that scene, oh, <laughs> did it give me chills. Now, one thing I can tell or I get a taste of when I see Jin is she seems like a young, feisty female version of Han Solo. That's what I get from her character. And if that's the case, fucking, I welcome that because he's my favorite character of all time. Okay, and we got to see the first look of the Death Trooper. Um, I've heard di different names, Shadow Trooper, Death Trooper, Dark Trooper. Death Trooper just sounds cool, but we saw a cool little quick, but we saw that in the teaser yesterday. They look really sick. i seen some people complaining about how they look. I personally think they look sick. I don't know, what did you think? Let me know down below in the comments. Then we hear the voiceover. Um, at first, <laughs> At first, there's a part in the voiceover, it sounds like Yoda almost, but it's not. It's either, I can't tell if it's Forrest Whitaker or the Donnie Yen character. And the voiceover was really powerful during the fight scenes. You see Donnie Yen whipping ass, he's got a bow staff for sure. He's fucking whooping on some stormtroopers. 
Forrest Whitaker looks like he's coming out of a ship or a building or something. He's wearing all this funky armor, which is pretty cool looking though. But like I said, maybe it's a mixture of both Forrest Whitaker and Donnie Yen talking. I can't tell. But like I said, there's one section where it almost sounds like Yoda, but I, I, I know it's not. It's one of those two. Now I come to the second epic scene I was talking about is the AT-ATs on that beach. That was epic. I mean, you always see like there's different art out there of AT-ATs in different situations, but we only really seen them in two different real vistas in the actual movies. We saw them on Hoth and we saw them on Endor. And to see them on a beach, oh, it looked so fucking cool. Like the AT-ATs, I think, are one of my favorite vehicles or favorite war machines in the Star Wars universe. Even though they're not the most probably versatile, they're just really fucking cool and ominous looking. And to see, I think there was like five or six of them coming down that beach setting. Holy shit, that made my heart just fucking sink because it was just like so scary looking. So, uh, yeah, I, that was an epic fucking scene. We also got a glimpse of this guy who seemed like he was with the Empire. He was dressed almost like he was with the Rebellion, though. But he had the cloak on, and they were playing, like, ominous music when he was fucking on screen. And then it showed him kneeling down before one of the um, Empire's uh, holographic devices. At least it looked like it might have been him. Uh, it could have been somebody else, but the way they filmed it, it made it look like it was him. So I'm not sure who he is, but like I said, he seemed real ominous, uh, like he was he was evil. So it'll be interesting to see what happens with that character. Anyways, let me know down below what you thought. If you're a Star Wars fan, I really would like your input because me personally, I was really interested to see where these trailers were going to take us and where these movies are going to take us because the anthology movies are also the movies that they can really take risks with on different feelings and different vibes as far as the movies go because the the main storyline it's kind of hard to do that because, you know, those have a vibe and a feel that if you veer too much from them, it could take you out of the story. Where these anthology movies are one shots and they really can do, you know, have real directorial freedom. I kind of felt like it was a little different, but not too much. But I think I still am going to be able to really fucking enjoy this. Like I said, I'm a Star Wars fan at heart, so I'm going to enjoy it no matter what. But will I fucking really go on this journey with these characters? I personally think I will. So let me know everybody, even if you're not a Star Wars fan, is this something that interests you? Some people are just fans of the Star Wars main storyline. Is this intriguing to you? Let me know down in the comments. As always, I love you guys. Peace. <laughs>